Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the gradient tool in Inkscape. Alright, so we've got Inkscape pulled up, and I've got a few different shapes here on the page that we've created. Um, of course, one's a square, one's a circle, and then I've just duplicated each of those because there is two ways of applying a gradient. Um, and then within Inkscape, there are two different types of gradients. There's a linear gradient and a radial gradient. And of course, just like the name suggests, linear gradient is going to be a gradient from one point to the next with a line in between the two. And a radial gradient is going to be a gradient with a center point and the gradient spreading out from that center. So let's go ahead and start with the um, linear gradient on this square here. The first way you can do this, and you can do this with both linear gradients and radial gradients, is over in the fill and stroke menu, um, you can actually apply your fill color. Okay, Under fill, you can apply a linear gradient or a radial gradient. Okay, So let's go ahead and mess with the linear gradient first on this square. We're actually going to go ahead up here and use the edit paths by nodes tool. This is going to be how you can manipulate and change the gradient, how it looks within the shape that you're editing. Go ahead and grab this circle, and as, that, as you can see, this will actually um, change the boundary at which the color will almost completely fall off. So, of course, if you stretch this way out, this gradient is going to get darker within that shape. If you change this square, it'll actually change the direction of the gradients. Wherever that color is coming from, it'll change the direction of that. So you can move that around and manipulate that. Let's go ahead and deselect our Edit by Nodes tool. Go ahead and select our circle and apply a radial gradient. And as you can see, it'll actually add a gradient starting in the very center and moving outwards. And if we again go to the Edit by Paths by Nodes tool and grab these, there, this time there's actually two different um, nodes that you can that you can manipulate manipulate rather to change the um, shape of the, gra the radial gradient within this square or excuse me, within this circle. And of course, the square on the center here, if you change this, will change the um, gradient within the circle that you've created. Now let's say that this circle is too small. You can always go ahead and grab these squares on the sides and change the size of the circle. So now that we've gone through the two different types of gradients, you can actually apply a radial gradient and a linear gradient to the circles and squares and vice versa. So we can actually go ahead and apply a radial gradient to this square it just applies a radial, radial gradient within the square. It's, it's the exact same controls, the exact same uh, manipulation of these different little nodes to get the same shape. It's just within a square as opposed to within a circle. Okay, um, So now that we've got that way of applying a gradient, what we're going to do now is actually show you um, another way to do it, whether you like this way better or you can do it manually. And let's go ahead and Fine. Let's go, go ahead and bring up another little square here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to click the Create and Edit Gradients tool and then apply it. Select a shape. Once you have that shape selected, you can get, go ahead and go up underneath the gradient menu up on the top left and either click Create Linear or Create Radial Gradient. You can go ahead and click Linear. And then wherever you click and drag, it is going to start that gradient wherever that piece wherever that first click starts that's where the gradient is going to start and then when you go ahead and re release that that's where it's going to end if you want to change it after that then you want to go to edit your to the edit tool and then you can go ahead and edit those nodes just like in the previous in the previous way to do that um, so let's go ahead and do the exact same thing you can actually do that or you can just click G on the keyboard and it'll bring up your gradient menu. We're gonna go ahead and apply a radial grade to this square. And as you can see, you can always change and manipulate this gradient. I like doing it from the fill and stroke menu just because, um, especially on circles, if I'm doing a radial gradient and I want it directly in the center of that circle or an ellipse, um, adding a fill gradient will actually automatically, by default, put it in the very center of that object. So these are just the two types of gradients and the two ways of using those gradients. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. If you guys want to see anything else in Inkscape, please hit the subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments below, and we will see you guys next time.